In this video, we're gonna take your business from here and we're gonna put it right here at the top. Pretty cool, right? You can just bypass all the junk and spam and get seen directly by your customers. Now, how do we do this? It's actually quite simple. So this is called Google Business Profile, formerly known as Google My Business. Google Business Profile is your business online storefronts. It's what people see when they search for you on Google and Google Maps. When someone types in something like coffee shop near me, Google will rank local businesses based off their Google business profile, meaning your business will always show up first in the search results. So if you have a business and you're not using Google business profile, you're potentially losing out on a lot of money. Local businesses that are using Google business profile appear in the Google three pack. These are the three most relevant businesses in the search results. These local businesses get 700% more clicks than those who do not appear in the search results. And there's actually a lot more benefits than just being number one, right? You can also list your products, you can list your services, and visitors can actually purchase these directly through your Google business profile. I made a fictitious business called NextGen Bangkok Designs. Now, when a user types this in, they're shown a really nice presentation of my business. They can visit my websites, book appointments, view my locations, and also purchase products. So let's be real, every business out there should be using Google Business Profile. It drives traffic to your websites, it can generate more revenue, and it puts you at the top of the search results. And the best part is, it's completely free to use. So in this video, I'll walk you through how to set up your Google Business Profile so you can rank higher versus your competitors, and you can be seen by the customers that are most interested in your business. So let's first go to step one. Let's claim and optimize your Google business profile. Now there is a link in the description and this will take you to the page in order to create your Google business profile. Okay, so this is Google business profile and this is where we can actually create our Google business profile. Now really quick, if you guys are old school like me, this was actually called Google my business. So if you heard about this term before, it's the same exact thing. So if you type in Google my business and click on the very first link, it'll take you to the same exact page. I just wanna make sure that you guys are not confused. They are the same service, okay? So once you're here, let's click on get started and let's create your Google business profile. Now, the very first thing you'll need to do is you need to have a Gmail account. So you can create one from scratch or you can log into an existing Gmail account. However, this is required. So you must have a Gmail account in order to create a Google business profile. I'm gonna go ahead and select one of my Gmail accounts. As you'll see, I have a ton of them. I'll select my French one. Okay, so once you create a Gmail account or you log in with your Gmail account, it'll take you to this page right here. Now, quick side notes, I'm not French. And if anyone wants to guess which ethnicity I'm in, good luck. You can let me know in the comments below, but nobody gets it right. So anyways, now the first thing that you'll do is put in your business name and then also put in a business category. So in my specific case, I am a web designer. So I'm gonna enter in my web design company. This is Patty's Design Studio. Patty was my dog, she died a few years ago. We all love Patty Whack and uh, she'll be missed. Uh, for my old school, uh, old school subscribers, you guys probably remember Patty, you know, I have posters of her everywhere. And for business category, I'm gonna put website designer, right? So websites and there we go, website designer. So all you'll do is search for your business category and then select it. Pretty simple, right? Pretty dumb proof, right? So once you select the category, you'll then click on next. Okay, so the next step is, do you have a physical location where customers can visit like a store or office? Now, the difference here is if you have a store where people can walk in and pay you for your products directly, you'll select yes. If you are a company or a person that serves a general region, but people necessarily cannot walk into your office or store, then you'll select no, okay? So for example, if you put no, it's just going to say, okay, what areas do you serve, right? And if you select yes, it'll say, okay, what is your actual physical business address? Got it, good, okay. Either way, you're gonna have to verify your address uh, with both of these uh, you know, options, so that's just something to consider, but we'll verify later. So where do you serve? Well, I serve in Santa Clarita, California. It is the most beautiful state in California. Uh, if anyone has been there, it's beautiful, but I don't want to give too much out because then everyone's going to move there and make it bad, <laughs> right? You know, that, that's what happens. Whenever things get popular, it like gets worse over time because it gets so crowded, right? So uh, yeah, Santa Clarita, and then I'll click on next. Now, what contact details do you want to show customers? Do you want to give them your phone 
or website. You typically should give them both, right? And I think putting in the website is a really good idea because then they can go directly to your websites. The phone number, you'll go ahead and enter it right here. You probably have a business phone number, right? So you'll put in the business phone number here and then your website are right here. So I'll go ahead and enter in my information. Once we enter the phone number and websites, we'll then click on next. Get updates about your business. Would you like alerts, notification, or tips to manage your business on Google? Sure, why not, you know? This actually does help sometimes. They'll notify you about how many views you get or if you get a new review. So it actually is helpful. They're not just gonna spam your inbox with a bunch of garbage. So yeah, just select yes and then click on next. Okay, now the next step is to verify your mailing address. Now, a long time ago, Google only used to recommend like phone calls and like video. But since there's been so many scammers about people making fake business profiles, Google now requires that you verify it through your address. I'm not sure if they still have the telephone method. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, but you will need to verify your mailing address. Now you can always verify this later, right? But um, if you verify it later, your listing will not show up. So they must verify your address before your listing shows up. So what you can do here is put in your country and region, put in your street address, go ahead and put mine in, right? and put in the city, the state, and the zip, all right? So we have the street address. And once we enter this in, I'll click on next. So here is the way to get verified. We have business video, and then also we have, uh, I think that's it, right? So yeah, we just have business video. Uh, I do remember they used to have phone verification, but it looks like that option is no longer available. At least not for me. If it's available for you, you can try phone verification, but you'll have to actually do a business video where you just record like your location and the address and then just send it to Google and you're good, all right? Now, if you do not have this information on hand right now, no problem, let's just verify it later. So right here, I'll click on verify later. Okay, now the next thing is they're letting us know that if we wanna make edits to our business, we must verify our location, all right? So that's just something to consider later, but we can always verify this later. So click on verify later. Okay, next thing is adding your services. Now this is actually quite important. So this would be considered keywords, right? So for example, I'm going to select software developments. However, I'm also gonna click on add a custom service and this is where we can add in more custom services. So I'll put website creation, right? Here I'll put WordPress website creation. I'll just put WordPress website and I'll put Elementor designer. Now make sure that you do enter this in because when users type in something like website builder, or I'm sorry, website creation near me or WordPress website builder near me, your business will show up depending on what the user types in. So these services are actually very relevant and Google actually says it right here, select the services your business provides and get matched with the right customer. So you do wanna make sure that you enter as much keywords here as possible because uh, when people type this in on the search results, it gives a better chance for your business to rank at the top of the search, all right? So feel free to enter in like 10 to 20 to 30 keywords if it pertains to you. And uh, once you're done entering these keywords, you'll then click on next. Add business hours. Okay, so when are you open? Well, typically, you know, we're all wages, right? So we're gonna put in Monday through Friday. So I'll put in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And uh, what time should we open? You know, I think, I think 10 o'clock is good. You know, I'm not a morning person, right? So I think most people typically open around eight or nine. Eh, that's always been too early for me, guys. I'll be, I'll be real. So uh, I'm gonna be open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Now, if you are open 24 hours, let's say for example, you are a 7-Eleven or you're one of those, those donut shops, right? That are like open to like, like they never close, right? So you'll actually click on the open and then under the opens at, you can select 24 hours, okay? So I'm gonna change mine here to 10 to six for all of these. Okay, so once you enter your business hours, you'll then click on next. Okay, now the next step is adding in business description. Now there's a few ways on how to approach this, right? You can actually go on Google and just see what your competitors are doing already, right? So for example, I typed in something like web designer near me. I wanna see what other companies are doing as well, just so I can get a feel for the market, right? So uh, we have design addict, right? I like how they spell addict, you know? So if I scroll down here, you'll see that they have services, right? And these are the keywords. And if we scroll down, this right here is the description. So they're saying we specialize in affordable, top-notch web design offering packages at just $1.99. 
pretty cheap, right? Pretty cheap. Let's take a look at Santa Clarita website design. Let's take a look at these guys right here. So we are a Santa Clarita web design company serving the SFV and all of Los Angeles and Southern California. We're very proud of our work as every website is a piece of art. We are a genuine boutique. Okay. All right. You guys get the point, right? So yeah, feel free to check out your competitors and just, you know, just see what they're entering just to give you an idea of what you should put for your description as well. Now, if you're really lazy like me, you can always go to ChatGPT and just ask them what to put in here. So I put in something like I am a web designer. My name is Patty and I have been in business for 10 years. Create description for my Google business profile. And here we go. We have this really a uh, really short description. I don't wanna add this in here because these are services I've already put in. So I'm just gonna take this and go back and you know, just paste it in. You know, I'm kind of a lazy guy. Can we actually keep the diamonds? Maybe let's see if that works. I have no idea. You know, maybe Google will let us do that. It looks pretty cool. All right, so once you enter in your business description, you'll then click on next. Add photos of your business. Now, let me be very clear here. So Google has a very high rejection rate for new profiles and unverified profiles. So if you do upload images and they get rejected right away, it's not necessarily because of the images, it's because that your profile is brand new and also the fact that your business might be unverified. So when I first created my profile for my next gen Bangkok design um, profile, mostly all the images were rejected. So if your images get rejected right away, don't get frustrated, just verify your business, maybe wait two days and then you'll be good. All right, promise. So I'm gonna upload some images here. Let's go ahead and see what we got. We'll throw in this one, okay. Let's see if this works. And then we'll put in this one as well. All right, so we have two photos of my business. All right, sound good? Okay, let's click on next. Oh, how about that? Claim your $500 advertising credits. Now, I do wanna talk about these ads. These ads are actually kinda cool. A lot of Google ads are a complete waste. However, I do like this specific ad. Now, let me show you where this actually appears, just in case you do wanna claim your free credits. So, when I typed in something like pizza near me, and I use the actual um, you know, Google Maps and the search results, you're gonna see that we have these at the top. We have Costco and then we have Persepolis Pizza and Subs. Now the reason why these are at the top is because these are sponsored. So when users are searching for something and you actually use those ads, your business will appear way at the top for the Google business profile. So you outrank your competitors if you wanna use those ads. And to be quite honest, uh, these ads are actually really cheap. It's probably like five to 10 cents a click. And that actually is really worth it, you know, for a first time impression to steal a customer, right? So I do recommend to claim the credits and maybe uh, try it out. I'll probably make a whole nother video that talks about this, but uh, I just want to say that the ad itself is not that bad, you know, and I, and I don't vouch for ads at all, but that one is actually kind of helpful because it does help users find something that they're already looking for, right? All right, but uh, in the meantime, I'll just click on skip for now. So the last option is one of Google's upsells and they're saying get a custom email and premium features to elevate your business. Well, if you do need a custom free business email, I highly recommend to watch one of my videos. I have a tutorial in the video description and it actually shows you how to get a business email from Hostinger and you can also build your website at the same time. So you knock two birds with one stone. So you'll go ahead and get web hosting and then you can actually uh, create a free business email using the web hosting servers instead of buying it from somewhere else, right? So if you actually do want to get a free business email, I highly recommend to watch that video in the video description. All right, we good? All right, cool. All right, but anyways, we'll go ahead and just uh, skip these upsells. So I'll click on skip. Your edits will be visible once you're verified. So again, you just wanna make sure that you do verify your accounts so that your Google business profile will be visible for your customers. So the last step is clicking on continue. Okay, and once you actually go through the process, it'll bring you back to Google business profile section where you'll see right here that your business is not visible to customers yet, but all you gotta do is just verify it and you'll be on your way. And just in case you wanna know how to verify it, here you'll click on get verified and then you'll go to the process to verify your address. So you'll put in your mailing address 
and then you'll verify it through video. And if phone is available, you can also verify it through phone, but I'm not sure if Google's still doing that, so don't quote me on it, but you'll go ahead and verify it through video. Okay, now once you go through the verification process and you verify your uh, Google business profile, it'll look something like this. Now, I'll be very honest, Google is a little weird on how you access your Google business profile. Essentially, you need to be logged in with your account and just type in the name of your business or you'll just go to Google business profile and go to sign in and it'll bring you to the search results, but you actually edit everything here through these search results. So here we can edit profile, we can read the reviews, you can upload photos and just see the performance. You can also advertise your business, edit products and a lot more. So on the right side, you'll see that we have the photos right here. So if I click on the photos, you'll see it has a list of photos. So I just, you know, uploaded these random photos. And here you can add your photos and you can also manage all your photos from right here, right? Uh, but I don't wanna do that now, okay? And then if you want to actually edit your business information, here, click on edit your business info. And this is where you can update your keywords. You can update the contact information. Here we have the opening dates, contact information. You will go through here and you'll fill out all this information. You can also go ahead and update things or not update things, right? Now, to be honest, Google does like a business that actually keeps their information up to date. And from my understanding, the more you engage with users and the more you update your profile, the more Google will recommend your profile when users search for that. That's a conspiracy. I don't know if that's 100% true, but uh, that's what ChatGPT says. All right, so uh, however you wanna, you know, however you wanna interpret that, that's, that's what I think. So uh, once you uh, go ahead and check out your business info, you can also scroll down here and you can actually uh, add in products, like I mentioned before. So if I click on add products, you could put the name of the products the category right here, right? You can create new categories. You could put the price. Now I am currently in Thailand, so it's pricing everything in Thai bot. So you'll put the, you know, how much your product costs here. You'll put description, and then you'll put the URL for that specific product. Here you'll put in a photo. And what's really cool is this will take them directly to your websites where they can buy something, right? It's awesome. All right. And also here, um, you can review your reviews. So you'll see that I made a review about a month ago. And if you want reviews, like if you want your family to review your business, which I'm sure you should offer them services so they can review your business, then you can get positive reviews because no one likes a business with no reviews. Let's be real, right? Here, I'll click on get reviews. And I think they give you a link. Yeah, here's the link. So you can take this link and then you can give it to family members or friends. And then you can, you know, get reviews from your friend, family and friends just so that your business is not so like naked and cold, right? Because as soon as people see those little stars, they're like, oh, okay, the business is safe, you know? Uh, also here, you can add updates for your business. So uh, Google does love this. Apparently, uh, if you do this on a regular basis, they will actually recommend your business more. Now, this is like if you have a sale or if there's something you want to announce for your members, you can put all of that right here. So you'll put an image, description, and then you can put a button right here. And then that button can link directly to your website or actually anywhere you want, right? Really cool, I do love this. Maybe I should make a Google business profile and just, you know, link people to my website more, <laughs> you know, why not, right? Uh, but yeah, so you can enter all this information here, you can update it, and you can also enter in your social profiles for your business. Well, anyways, party people, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about Google Business Profile, let me know in the comments below, and make sure to verify your account so you can get free traffic to your business. My name is Daryl Wilson, and I will see all of you party people in the next video. Take care.